This time we've got a painting. It's one I was commissioned to do by somebody and he said he wanted a Viking. Could I do one? I said, yeah, all right. So I had uh, came up with three basic images and said, which one do you like the look of? And unfortunately, he went for the one on the left. I say unfortunately because you don't get to see much of it. Uh, but I think it was a good choice. Um, that one I'd kind of I'd made a start on. I don't know why. This was the one on the right. It's got quite a good helmet with a male um, veil or avantail, um, which this one has as well. This one. Um, the view is from just below the center point as if you've been knocked over by the guy and you're looking back and the big white patch we were going to have a Valkyrie there um, but she just looked like a woman with you know standing around so it didn't make much sense anyway so I worked up the fire and started adding in a bit more color um, and reflection and things like that we both thought he would look good in pretty thick paint so I've not tidied things up and I won't so things like the boss that's not perfectly circular let the paint do its job and very often the paint and the painting will lead the way um, and there's no point in forcing it it's as if the painting and the paint knows better there we are in the workshop with the horrible wallpaper but never mind um, here we are with a bit more blue on the metalwork. That kind of needs working through a bit and blending in, but at that point it was okay. Gives an idea of where the light and dark is, where you're gonna um, work to. And then just a look at some of the detail. I think the hand and the axe need to stay in silhouette and just let the the shield and the helmet pick up the light. It gives the axe a bit more menace. Also, there's a slight, I've put a slight curve on the axe handle and blade to make it look like it's looming towards you, kind of wide angle, fisheye lens quality, um, which we both enjoyed. We thought that was good fun. And uh, there he goes with just a little bit of sort of fire reflecting in the helmet. I'll bring that down into the shield as well. Um, just a little bit more. I feel I've overdone it on the dark blue on the shield a bit. We'll move that, kind of put some white paint on and let it blend in. And it'll come out all right in the end. But at this point, it's probably at its most hard work. And there we are with him pretty much done. Just got to pull the uh, sword scabbard out of the fire a little, not too much. And a little bit of fire reflecting in the shield. And a little bit more on the helmet so a lot of the dark blue has been blended into the darker there's actually a darker blue and some black and you can see a lot of the dark blue's gone on the shield rim but at the top it's just coming through a little so that's how we do it the other thing we did was to take a photograph of it and then put it through a series of filters just to see if anything might improve it and this is the only one that looked any good really we darkened it up just in case it had a bit of menace but it looks too dark the guy is in the basic story is that this is a dawn raid there's daylight hence the metalworks reflecting and the fires blazing behind him putting him into partial silhouette but doing this just made it far too dark it looked like the middle of the night so the helmet and the shield reflection doesn't make any sense so just a bit too gloomy quite nice on the menacing front but just gloomy as an image. So lighten it up and there you are. That's him done. A little bit of work on the scabbard, not too much. I want it to look like he's coming out of the flames. A little bit more fire on the Celtic cross on the ground and that's him done. Hope you enjoyed it and there might be another one.